So I think we're just going to leave that as it is right now, put that to one side. We still got to do the connector on the other end of the thermistor as well. But yeah, we'll put that to one side and carry on with a different section. Looking good. So I've made a fair bit of progress dismantling, as you can see, the frame's starting to look quite empty, but I've realized a few things as I've gone along that I hadn't necessarily considered. So for example, the stepper motors I forgot were, were directly wired in, so I am to, gonna have to redo all the wires for the stepper motors, which is a bit of a pain, but you know, needs must. Which does also mean, because those wires were all directly wired in, I thought I was going to be able to leave all the cable management all kind of complete as it was. But again, not the case. That's all going to have to come out as well. So I've kind of abandoned the kind of upgrade process, if you like, at the moment. And I'm just rapidly dismantling the whole thing. Because there's literally no part of this that's going to be the same afterwards. I'll try and use maybe some instructions if they're relevant. I really don't know. It's going to be mostly a remembering game at this point. Anyway, all fun and games, I shall catch you in a bit. So as you can see, it's been mostly dismantled. Now, the frame is basically back to totally stock. All the little parts that I've removed from it are just sitting all over the place. You've got power supply, some Z rods, a piece of soft foam that I used as a kind of noise damper, stepper motors, the rods holders. And then over on the left, we've got all the new parts. Then we've got the screen in there so I'm going to get on with the power supply and getting this kind of motor and mounting parts that go directly onto the frame back on with their new shiny blue parts So that's the power supply done now. That's ready to go straight onto the main frame. That actually was really easy. Didn't have any issues at all. Everything just dropped straight into place. Uh, I suppose there was one minor thing. The uh, captured nut in the side there, I can't get out, but it's really not a big deal at all. Just stuck another one in this one. Power in, power switch, power supply, voltage out. Excellent, onto the next part.
So this is the uh, idler and the motor end of the kind of the Y carriage belt system and they're now done nicely replaced with the blue parts. That is the new motor. I've just cut the wire to length at the moment. Hopefully that's the right length because I've already cut it. Uh, I made it the same as the last one so it should be just fine. So that's that lot done, ready to mount to the frame. Now we're going to move on to, well we'll probably replace these parts on the frame, get these mounted on the frame so the frames will kind of ready to frame. So that's the four corner parts for the, uh, the Y-axis mounting. They seem to fit on really nicely. They're actually really nice prints though, so I'm really happy with that. Uh, Y-axis belt mounted, back on just perfectly. Nice and rigid, nice and straight. That's gone on perfect. Next, we're gonna do the necessary modifications to the LCD screen. So again, it's just a number of plastic parts that we just gotta take off and remount. Should be a fairly simple job. I do have a slightly custom bodged sort of area on mine, so hopefully I've reflected that in the current design. Let's hope we have. So I just got halfway through mounting the LCD screen and noticed I might have made a bit of a blunder when doing some modifications. So I changed the text on the front to say something very slightly different, but unfortunately in the process of doing that, I for some reason extruded this massive block through the print. So now it, it, doesn't, it doesn't fit at all. So I'm gonna have to reprint that at some point pretty soon. But for now, we're just gonna use the screen that I already had. I mean, it works, it just looks a little bit nah. So. Let's just carry on with that. So we've got the LCD screen back on now. I mean, it does look a little bit naff. That original print that I did was not super great. So I do want to get that proper one done sooner rather than later because I mean, it's like the central focus point of looking at the printer. So it'd be good to get it done properly. For now, I think we're gonna take the frame and stuff out of the way and start working on the whole X-axis and extruder upgrade. There's a lot to do there. So I've just been working on the whole extrude assembly. You can see that's all, well, the whole x-axis really, not the extrude assembly. It's all starting to come apart. And I've just started to look at putting these bearings in and there's a bit of a problem. So this whole column here is supposed to clamp down onto the bearing, hold it securely. However, it just kind of doesn't. So I'm gonna to have to reprint these. I think the extrusion ratio is maybe a little bit low so they look really nice, but they're not quite the right dimensions. What I might do instead of just printing these exactly as they are, is have a look at the uh, bare upgrade parts, as I know that they have a screw in this uh, kind of column area that holds the rod, holds the bearings rather. So instead of just relying on precise printing, you can actually clamp it closed once you've uh, printed it. So that will hopefully end up with some slightly more reliable geometry. Uh, so unfortunately not gonna be able to continue uh, with this as it is, bit of a disappointment, but that's the way it goes. So I'm gonna set these prints off 
with the right geometry now go to sleep come back in the morning and hopefully i'll be able to continue with the whole x axis assembly so that's it from me today on the mark 2s upgrade build next time we're going to get on with modifying the whole x axis assembly including the x carriage and we come across one or two problems sorry i mean opportunities for improvement for now like the video if you liked it subscribe if you want to see more if you want to support the channel patreon is a great way to do that there'll be a link in the description follow me on twitter and instagram for more behind the scenes and stuff like that and i will see you in the next one